Sirach chapter 38, verse 20. Take no heaviness to heart. Drive it away and remember the last end. I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahabshai, Bashem, Rakah Kodash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. The scripture says, take no heaviness to heart. Drive it away and remember the last end. This lesson is for all you Akim out there, man, and you sisters that are dealing with heaviness, man. Okay, and we all go through it. You know, there's times where we're feeling a lot better than other times. Okay, versus times where it's like, whoa, man. Like, what's going on with my spirit? You know, you feel like quicksand. So, we have to understand at the end of the day, we're supposed to think about the glory that's coming during these moments, during these times. But the only way you can do that, the only way you can be single-minded and focus on the glory, focus on the promise, focus on salvation, is to cast your burdens on your high bottom hour shy. So let's get that. Psalms chapter 55, verse 22. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Cast thy burdens upon your high bottom hour shy, and he shall sustain thee. Okay, you will be sustained through your faith and hope towards him, towards them. Okay. No matter what you're going through, it don't matter what you're going through, man. And it can be horrible. It does not matter. Okay? You can be sustained through your faith and belief, man. That's what it means to fight the good fight of faith. Okay, so let's read that one more time. Cast thy burdens upon your how about you shy, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Right, man. And the faith is the righteousness, man. Not because you're keeping the law perfectly. Get that out your head because none of us doing that. But it's our faith, man. Because remember, when Abraham got the promise, okay, and went to sacrifice Isaac, the Lord counted that for righteousness, his faith for righteousness. And he's doing that with us, man. Okay? If you're holding that shield of faith. All right? Now from there, let's go to Isaiah chapter 41, verse 13. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Right, man. See, when you get in heaviness, man, you fear the things that are making you heavy and it weighs you down. You get very depressed and low. Okay, but the Lord said, fear not. Okay, for I, the Lord, thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, fear not, I will help thee. But he can't help you if you do not cast your burdens upon him. That's how he helps you, man, by you letting it go. Because that shows trust. That shows belief in your power, man. Okay? You call him your power, your God. Well, you have to believe in your Shai through action. Okay? By casting your burdens upon them. And not letting all that weight just weigh on you. Okay? This life, if you let this world weigh on you, man, it's over for you, man. You're not going to survive that. Because it's too much. It's too heavy. But it was designed that way for you to show your trust towards your Shai. So he designed it to be very heavy. That's why the scripture I read in Sirach 38, 20, when the heaven has happened to you, think upon the latter end, drive it away because it's going to come. All right. We know that. Now, from there, let's go to Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. Right. And I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. And you shall find rest unto your souls. Right. The comfort. Okay. That's the rest you're talking about. And the ultimate rest that it's talking about is the kingdom of heaven. But before that, man, he told what? Um, the disciples, he said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will comfort you, man. Okay. Before he left, when he told him he had to go to the right hand side of the father. But before he came the second time, which he's not here yet for the second time, he was going to send down a comforter. To the believers, to the prophets, okay, to the ones that trust on him, to the ones that are willing, to the ones that are willing to cast their burdens upon them because they trust in them. Okay? That's what it's about. Alright. Now from there, let's go to Matthew 6, verse 25. Now this whole chapter, man, goes in and really just relaxing and not worrying too much. But I'm going to just read this scripture right here. Uh Matthew 6, 25. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body, 
what you shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? Right, man. Because these are things in everyday life that stress out the people in everyday life. It's heavy. It becomes heavy. Okay. When they don't see it the way they want to see it or when they want to see it. Okay. But when you believe on your Habashim al Shai, he is on time. Now, that's one thing they get right in the church. He's on time all the time. <laughs> be an old lady saying that, even though they be full of shit. But, you know, that saying is right if you believe on him. Now, if you don't believe on him, man. You know, he can leave you just to dry, you know what I'm saying? And just suffer and then die off, you know? That's how it works, okay? Now, from there, let's go to Philippians chapter 4, starting at verse 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto Yahweh Shai. Right, man. So you have to communicate to Yahweh Shai. And that takes faith to do that, to communicate and believe that he's hearing you. You know, faith plus works. That's part of the works. Okay. You can have faith. He's going to hear you. But if you never go make your request known, then what are you doing? You know, you're not acting it out. So faith plus works. Okay. If you have faith, no works, then it's dead alone. As the scriptures say. Okay. Verse seven. And the peace of Yahweh Shai, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Yahweh Shai. Right. Keep your hearts and your mind, your spirit. So that it's not too heavy to the point where it falls off, where you give up, where you stop fighting, okay? Where the cares of this world, okay, the worries of heaviness choke the word that's in you. That's what you got to be careful about because that's what heaviness does. That's what it can do, okay? It either can make you better by you overcoming it or it can take you completely out. Either or, man, okay? There's guys in this truth that have gotten better through heaviness. And there's guys that have fell out through heaviness, okay, that left and gave up the hope. That's the reality of this truth, man. That's why it's called the straight gate, okay? You have to suffer, man. You have to actually endure hardness as a soldier through these different heaviness that come in your life. And it takes faith, the engine of this truth. It takes faith to do that. You can't do it no other way. It's impossible, okay? Period, all right? Now, from there, let's go to 1 Peter chapter 5, start at verse 6. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh, by Shem Shai, that he may exalt you in due time. Right, man. Meaning lift you up. Okay? Quicken your spirit and lift you up. Okay? In the spirit, man. Okay? But you got to wait for that all around. Not just what you know, what you can speak, what you can quote, but to lift you up in the spirit fully over all, man. Getting closer to him. Because that's what this truth is about. Getting close to your Habashim al Shah, man. So that your confidence may grow. So that when things come your way, you know, though it's heavy, it doesn't last long. Because your faith, your foundation is strong. You're rooted. Okay? Verse 7. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Right. Casting all your care upon him. And when you do that, okay, you're willing to uh, cast your burdens upon your Habashim al Shah. Okay? That's part of casting your care. It's all these worries, these things that haunt you through your day, <laughs> through your week that's getting in your nerves. And it's like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I can't take it no more. Those things, if you cast all your care upon your high your mouth shy and pray, make your requests known fast, do what you got to do, man. You can overcome these things. Okay? You can do anything with faith. You can overcome anything with faith, man. The scriptures are heavy on that. All right? Verse 8, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. So we can't forget that, that the devil is trying to do this to us. He's trying to pour everything on us, man, and pile it up and pile it up to the point where it's so heavy that we just focus on the heaviness versus focus on the faith of getting over the heaviness. Okay, the faith that Yahweh Shemayah is with us, who can be against us. Okay. With your high bashim our shah, we can overcome anything. Instead of you focus on that, the demons are getting you to focus on the irritation, the frustration, the things that ain't going your way for that moment, the shakiness of life, the suffering. But you can't do that, man, and survive. You know, we all get to it. You know, righteous man falls seven times to get back up. But you can't just sink in it to the point where that's all you're thinking about day in and day out, day in and day out. For you know it, you just 
so far away, man, from land. <laughs> you know, you drift off. You can't see no land. And that's what it's like. You get drifted off. You still see the land. So you have hope that you can possibly get there. But eventually, all you are seeing is water around you because you forgot to paddle. You forgot to fight. Okay, you forgot to swim that way. Okay, you allowed Satan to carry you off into deep, stormy waters, man. Sharks around there, you know, <laughs> shark fins. You, you know, you see the shark uh, fins swim by you, man. You're nervous and scared. That's what it's like, man. That's a dark place, man. That's what it's like when you don't have that faith, okay, during these hard moments, all right? Verse 9, whom resists steadfast in faith. Ooh, that's a spirit. Whom resists, you have to resist it, steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Right. Okay. We know that. You know that. So you're not alone. I'm not alone. I understand that, you know, if I'm going through heaviness, I know other brothers are too, man. But we're here to build each other up, man, to help each other, to exhort each other, man. Especially when we see that they're approaching more and more, okay? Verse 10. But the God, the power of all grace, who have called us into his eternal glory by Yahweh Shai, after that you have suffered a while. <laughs> there you go, man. So you meant to have that heaviness to overcome, man. It's part of your sufferings. Make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Right, man. So... I hope this was edifying to all your acumen and uh, you sisters, sisters that listen to understand this, man. This is what we've been given. This is the lot of a hopeful elect. He has to go through these things. He has to overcome these things in front of him. You cannot forget that. But I repeat, Satan is walking up and down and his goal is to get you to forget it so that you really stop fighting. All you're doing is just complaining. And frustrated okay it's gonna happen but you can't sit there for too damn long okay you ain't gonna see the shore after a while so with that hope you're edified i want to give all praise to yahweh bashem yahweh shai bashem raka kodash forgive me the spirit to do this lesson double honest to the elders of great millstone and shalom to you i come out that is doing the truth and sincerity shalom